we've uh, been going through the, the first few chapters of uh, First Nephi in the Book of Mormon, so tonight we're going to be picking up with chapter 6. And now I, Nephi, do not give the genealogy of my fathers in this part of my record, neither at any time shall I give it after upon these plates which I am writing, for it is given in the record which has been kept by my father, wherefore I do not write it in this work. For it sufficeth me to say that we are a descendant of Joseph. So, what, uh, what record is Nephi talking about here? His own? His own, right. Okay, which is actually right over here. Okay, so this is, this is the, the plates or the record of Nephi, right? So that's what he's referring to in these particular verses. Right, and in fact, I'm going to go ahead and give you a, another name that's given to these particular plates, right? Because it's, it's a name other than the plates of Nephi. They're also referred to as the, as the small plates. Okay, so they're, these are referred to as the, the small plates, and then you're going to see now why it's, it's called that, all right? And it says, it, he's uh, telling what's going to be in, in his record, and more specifically, what's not going to be in the record, right? As you can see, it says, I'm not going to bother repeating what my father is putting in his because he's, he's writing, uh, you know, the whole book here. So he's got, he's putting stuff in about his genealogy. He's putting stuff in about his background. So, so why should we duplicate? Why am I going to put the same thing in mind that he's putting in his? And also, he happened to have a smaller amount of place to work with, all right? So he's, he's not going to repeat all that. It doesn't matter who was Lehi's father and his father and his father, because that's in his book. As far as my book, we're descendants of Joseph, period. That's all that we need to, to know. And it mattereth not to me that I am particular to give a full account of all the things of my father, for they cannot be written upon these plates, for I desire the room that I may write of the things of God. For the fullness of mine intent is that I may persuade men to come unto the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and be saved. So, what's the thing that he said he wants to focus on? Yeah, he wants to focus on writing more of the, the things of God, things about God, right? And uh, as opposed to as opposed to what? Yeah, the things of themselves or family, family you know, personal history, and so forth, right? So, you know, so this isn't so much a, a history of me, it's more a history of God's dealings with us, right? And the things about God. And, you know, the purpose, as he says right there, is that I might bring people more to the knowledge of God, right? It, you know, it's, it's a good, you know, a good thought. I mean, who, basically, who cares about about me, who cares about my personal history, so if I'm going to write a, a biography of myself, so what, right? But if I can write about things that God has done, then this is something that will uh, you know, be of worth to people. People will read it and they'll draw closer to God because they'll see how God worked with, with my family, right? So this, this is what he's going to write on his particular uh, plates in his record. He's going to write the things that God has done. So more of like a testimony of, of God's goodness and God's dealings with them, more so than just a personal biography or history. Wherefore, the things which are pleasing unto the world I do not write, but the things which are pleasing unto God and unto those who are not of the world. Wherefore, I shall give commandment unto my seed, that they shall not occupy these plates with things which are not of worth unto the children of men. So, in, in 5, you know, it's kind of continuing saying that I want to write things that are pleasing to God, not necessarily what, what people are looking for. And somebody may say, well, why don't you write about yourself and your family, but that's not what this is about, it's about the things of God. And further... Now, as, as you see, he's, you know, he's anticipating that he's going to be passing this on at some point to you know, perhaps his uh, sons or whatever, and, and to their sons and so forth. So he, not only is he going to focus on that for his part of the writing, he says he's going to like, leave instructions that you know, when I turn this over to you and you keep writing, you do it the same way. You, know, you write the things of God in here. Don't, don't to change it around and say, well, now you've got to write about yourself. All right? I, I want my record to be a record of God's dealings with our people. So, that's, so he says, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to instruct those who follow after me to do the same. But as, as you might guess, all right, now the, it says the, the plates of, of Nephi all right, are known as the small plates. Okay, now what might the, the other one be known as? Large, Large plates, all right? That's, a, that's a pretty logical, and so that's what we're going to go with there, okay? So, the, so these are what are known as, as the large plates, all right? So later on in the, in the book, when it talks about the small plates and the large plates, this is the distinction, right? The, the, the small plates are Nephi's writing, right? And it says he would start off with a, with a brief overview of, uh, of Lehi and then go into his own record, all right? And, and 
whereas the large place of, that Lehi was keeping is more the, the general record of, of everything that's happening. Right? And in fact, it would, it would eventually go to Nephi also. When, when Lehi died, he's going to pass it on to Nephi to continue it, and then and so forth. So it, both of these are passed down. But at the time we're talking about, there's two separate records being kept, the large place of Lehi, the small place of Nephi. Right? Now, if, if, you're, if you're interested, right, you, the, the, the book that you're holding, the, the Book of Mormon, of course, comes mostly from these two records. You turn to the page uh, before page one. All right, there's it says names and order of books in the Book of Mormon. Okay, so it's this page here. Okay, so those, those are the 15 books, if you will, that comprise the Book of Mormon. Now, if you count down the the first six, okay, first book of Nephi, second book of Nephi, and Jacob, Enos, Jerem, and Omni. That's the small plates. Okay, that those six all are what are on the, the, the small plates of, of Nephi. Now the, the large plates, what they contain is they contain what's known as the book of, of, of Lehi, right? And, and, and which one of the, the 15 is that? Is it a trick yeah, question? There, there, yeah. isn't. there isn't one. <laughs> there isn't one. It's, it's good. When, the, when uh, the plates were discovered, and they were being translated. Okay, you know, Joseph Smith was involved, and uh, Martin Harris uh, was was described, right? That they, you know, he, they were going through, and he was saying the words, and Martin Harris writing them down. Okay, they, they started with the book of, of Lehi, because that was the first thing they had was the, the book of Lehi. They um, they pretty much finished the, the the book of Lehi, and it was 116 pages. Okay, and, and then at the end of that uh, part of the work, Martin Harris, who was described, asked Joseph Smith if he could borrow. The pages to show his family, and he took them to his family, and basically they never came back. All right, they never came back. So the 116 pages were, were lost of, of the translation, and uh, you know, the, actually God was upset with Joseph Smith for letting them out of his sight because he wasn't supposed to do that. All right, so basically he said we're we're not going to go back. All right, you're, you're going to continue from where where you're up to, and that and that's it. So he he, he continued with the translation. The, the next thing he came across though was the small plates of of, of Nephi. All right, so he started with the small plates of Nephi, and lo and behold, you know, the, the, the basic time period was the same as the book of, of Lehi, right? Because he had abridged a little bit of Lehi's record and then wrote his own story, which paralleled a lot of this story. So really, no, no time frame was lost from the book, right? But just a lot of the, of the detail that was in the large plates of, of Lehi was, it was lost. But the, the small plates were, were there to cover the same time period. Okay, so that's why First Nephi through, when they say through Omni, was the, the was the, the small plates, right? And in fact, at the end of the book of Omni, there's a comment made that well, the, the, these plates are full now, so we can't write any more Omni. So that's how you know that that was the end of the of, of the small plates. Okay, so the the record of the of Nephi, the small plates, First Nephi through Omni, that that's what shows up in this book. Okay. Now the after the book of Lehi was the book of uh, Mosiah, right? So now you can go down to where it says Mosiah. And in fact, Mosiah, Alma, Helaman, 3rd uh, Nephi, and 4th Nephi, and Mormon were all on the large plates. Book of Mormon or Words yes. of Mormon? No, a Book of Mormon. Not, not Words of Mormon. Okay. So. okay, so Mosiah through Mormon was on the large plates. And in fact, towards the end of, of, of Mormon is also a comment made of how the, the plates are almost full now, so, so, so I can't write anymore. Often the last guy left said, well, I don't have any more ore to make any more plates, so I'm going to have to squeeze now and just go with what's left here. All right, so that, that was the end of that was through, through Mormon. Okay, now the others, which are, you know, we, we haven't really mentioned yet, the, just, just so you can pick them up, the, the Book of Ether, right, with its own standalone book, that it was found by the, the people of, of Nephi in, uh, on 24 gold plates, but that, that's way later in the story, right? But it's just a separate book that was found by them in the course of, of their travel. And then they, that was translated and put into this book, right? So that's not even a record of the Nephites. So that's like a separate book. So that's why and that's not on any of these yet, because we haven't gotten that far yet, right? And as far as the other two, the, uh, you, you remember that the, the editor of this book is named, is named Mormon. Okay, and hence the term, the, the, the Book of Mormon. 
so when, when, when he was uh, editing all the different records and uh, bridging them and putting them together, right, he, he went through the book of Lehi, and then, you know, then he noticed that the, uh, the small plates of, of Nephi were there. So he said, hey, that, that's supposed to be cool to include this in the, in the record too, even though it's the same time frame because it's a different perspective. It's more the things of God. So he just writes a little note in there known as the Words of Mormon, which he just put in, in his abridgment that said, you know what, I found these small plates and I, I think there's valuable information here, so I'm gonna include those even though it covers the same time frame as the book of, of, of Lehi. If he wanted to mention that, otherwise it would seem confusing. If you, if you were gonna read the whole thing through, it's like, you know, you read from 600 BC to 400 BC and then you're back to 600 BC again, it would be confusing. So he just wanted to make it clear that he was gonna put in the small plates to cover the same time frame, not knowing that the first version was gonna be lost and there's going to be only the small plates, but the, so that, that's what the Words of Mormon are. It's just like a one-page thing where he just says that he's going to include the, the small plates there. All right? and, and then finally, the, the, the only other one was after everything was done and the, and the abridgment was done and uh, it was all ready to be finished, then the, Moroni was the last one of the, of the Nephites, the last editor, and so he found like a little, just a little bit of spare space at the end, so he just kind of wrote a few things of his own at, at the very end of the whole thing, right on the, on the final from the abridgment, which was not either of these, it was the, the place that they made that turned into the, the Book of Mormon. Okay, so that's, that, that's where all, the, all the, the books fit in. But as far as the ones that we've done so far, for large plates and small plates of Nephi, it's, it's the ones that, that I listed. Okay, so you got that small plates as 1st Nephi through Omni, and large plates as Mosiah through Mormon. 